hello my beautiful people you are welcome to naho blessed fashion guys before i continue i really want to apologize for not posting for a while now i'm so sorry okay i've been so busy you know as a fashion designer this is our season this christmas season is our season okay it kept me so busy that i could not create and post a video i'm so sorry about that okay so guys uh we are going to be making this beautiful dress as you can see the waist is snatched and there is no single dart okay it's a dart manipulated dress so there is no single dart stitch showing in the dress because it has been manipulated from the pattern so if this is what you want to learn definitely keep on watching okay guys okay guys we have already drafted our pattern and we have our dart manipulated i will leave the video link in the description box if you haven't watched that video of how we drafted the basic body and how we manipulate the dart please i will leave the link you go and watch it i don't want the video to be too long that is why i am so, i am dropping the sewing tutorial separately okay so guys i separate this pattern at the waistline to make this dress that have joining at the waistline okay so this dress have joining at the waistline and i use the same pattern that's why i cut it at the waistline so now i'm going to join them together because the dress we are making today is not having any joining at the waistline okay so i'm going to start with the front piece so i will get my front piece and join them at join it at the waistline with my masking tape so after that I'll keep this aside and do the same thing to the back piece So the back piece doesn't have any bust that and it has a zipper allowance so don't get confused okay so i'll get the front piece this is the front piece so guys as you can see from the style the center front is having a nice curve at the hip area so at the center part of the dress i'm going to come down by nine inches which is my hip line and then at the side front i'm going to come down by i marked out five inches but i actually um trim it out to four inches so i later use four inches at the side of my dress okay so nine inches for the center front and um four inches for the sides okay that's how i get this nice curve effect so you just go ahead and cut it out you can actually make your own um you can actually maintain your five inches at the side and you can go down by maybe 10 inches for the center is actually depends on your preference okay so i'll just place the front piece on the back piece just like this remember there's a zipper allowance at the back piece so make sure they align at the shoulder okay then i'm just going to cut it out nicely okay so the same measurements we have for the front is the same measurements we are going to have for the back okay so i'll just go ahead and follow the line and cut it nicely just like this okay I'm trying to keep this in place okay so next the opening at the neck area right at the chest area I'm going to come down by um three and a half inches okay but um I later realized that's too high so I'll come down a little okay you can even make use of your chest line you can make use of five inches that totally depends on you if you want your boss to be revealing a little bit you can make use of your chest line okay 
so i ended up making use of four inches and for the width i'm going to make use of half an inch okay so remember it's going to be on fold so half an inch on both sides is one inch okay so i'm going to mark out half an inch when you open it up you're going to have one inch okay so if you want yours to be wider you can make it wider that totally depends on you but one inch width is actually okay for me so you connect it nicely just like this with a nice curve okay and then cut it out So next, I'm going to fold my fabric into two. Make sure your fabric is on fold. This center front must be on fold, okay? There's no zipper at the center front. There's no buttons at the center front. So make sure it's on fold. So I'm just going to pin it down and cut it out. So I'm leaving like one inch for at the down parts to... um to attach it to the gathers at the down part okay every other allowance has been added in our pattern so i'm going to cut the the neckline nicely just like this I'm going to be leaving like um, half an inch at the neckline. I don't want it too wide, okay? So, yeah, that's just it. So when you open it up, you're going to be having your center piece nicely cut out. As you can see, we have our one inch opening. Okay, if you want your own wider, go ahead and make it wider. It totally depends on you. Okay, so this is the back piece. Remember the zipper allowance, the zipper side has to be open. So the center back is open, but the center front is on fold because of the zipper at the back. Okay, so I, I left the same one inch at the down part and then the same half inch at the neckline. It's nothing different. Okay. So, the next thing we are going to do now is to cut the facing. That's the lining. Okay, if you have a lining, you make use of it if you want to. But I'm going to make use of the same fabric. That's what I have at the moment. So, just place it. I don't know why this is not too clear. But just place it and just trace it out. Okay, trace just the upper parts out. The length of my um, lining is just going to stop at my bust area. And that's all. Okay. So that's all for the um, lining for the back. I'll do the same thing for the front piece. Fold my fabric. Make sure... Your center front lining is on foot as well. Okay. Then I'll trace it out nicely. You don't have to take your lining all to your from to your shoulder. Um, I mean your armhole, okay? Your lining can stop at your shoulder, just go down. So yeah, this is my my lining for the front piece. Then for the rope at the neckline, at the neck area, I'm just going to cut out this piece. I it's um, one and a half inches, and I'm going to fold it nicely, just like this. 
after folding it this is what i have just fold it into four okay and then i'm going to come down by half an inch from the neckline i'm going to come down by half an inch that's for stitching allowance at the neck area okay then where i mark that half an inch that's where i'm going to place this ropes so i'm going to place the rope at the half an inch i marked out okay that gap you're leaving is for the stitching allowance at the neck area i hope that is clear so just place it and pin it down i'll do the same thing to the other side make sure you leave your half inch okay I'll pin it down and then I'll go over to my sewing machine and stitch it round with half inch. Okay, stitch it with half an inch. I've done that. I'm just going to notch it. Make sure you notch it very well so it will relax. Okay, notch all the area you stitch. So this is it. I'm going to turn it to the right side. Sorry, before then, we are going to um, stop stitch. Okay, this is very necessary. Go over to your sewing machine. Make sure the allowance is facing the lining side. Okay, then you go ahead and stop stitch. I hope that is clear. Make sure the allowance is facing the lining side. So guys, I'm going to head to stop stitch it like I said. And when you turn it to the right side, this is what you should have. Please like this video, give it a thumbs up and drop a comment if you can, okay? If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thank you. You go ahead and give it a very good press. Okay, for the back piece, I'm going to place my lining as well, right side facing. Okay? Right side facing and I will stitch the neck area, just the neck area okay so guys i'm gonna have to start uh, um, to stitch it down with half an inch just the way we did to the front and then i'm going to notch it after notching you go ahead and, st and stop stitch as well make sure your allowance is facing the lining side you go ahead and stop stitch okay so guys i've done that i will try to give it a very good press and then i'll place them right side facing and make a loose stitch using my zipper allowance i'll make a loose stitch to the end and then from the allowance i have at the end i'm going to stop stitch okay stop stitch at the end okay but make a loose stitch for your zipper um, allowance because you're going to be losing that when you attach your zipper okay so guys i've gone ahead to make a loose stitch as you can see I press it down and I'm going to bring my my front piece right side facing make sure they are right side facing and I'm going to stitch it down from the shoulder I'll stitch it down with half inch at the shoulder and I'll use my measurement to stitch the sides together you can reduce your waist measurements by half or even one inch to get that snatchy effect okay so reduce your waist measurements by half inch you can even make it one inch if you want it very snatchy okay don't use your exact measurement if you want it snatchy at the waistline if you don't want it please make use of your exact measurements and then notch it as you can see when you turn it to the um, right side this is what you should have okay then for the gathers at the down part i am making use of i make sure i have my complete measurement like the complete length of my dress make sure i complete it from the gathers okay and then the width of that gathers depends on the amount of fabric you have and how full you want it to be okay so i'll go ahead and make a loose stitch that's a gather stitch in at one end after making the gather stitch i will get one strand of my thread and then just pull it like this 
to create my gathers. So, like I said, um, the width determines how full you want it to be and the amount of fabric you have. Why the length determines your dress length. So, you take the measurement of the upper length and then you make sure you have the complete measurement at the gathers um, part of the dress. So, I'll go ahead and, and stitch it down one side. Join them together, okay? So after joining together, I will attach it to the upper body. Make sure they are right side facing. Right side facing um, each other. Make sure you attach your zipper before doing this. If you don't know how to attach your zipper to your dress, I have a full tutorial, very detailed on how to attach your zipper neatly, okay? So make sure you attach your zipper first before doing this. So you place them right side facing, just like this. Right side facing. And then you can pin it down before attaching it, before stitching it, okay? You can decide to just go over to your sewing machine and stitch it down. But I would advise you pin it down first, okay? Just to make sure you get the right um, measurement. So after pinning it down, this is what I have, okay? So pin it down first so that it will go all the way around. I'll go ahead and stitch it round with um, one inch, okay? So guys, I've gone ahead to stitch it nicely. As you can see, we have our nice curve effect, okay? And then for the sleeve, I am going to fold my fabric into four. We are cutting the two sleeves together. Next, I have this basic um, sleeve pattern drafted out in this channel. So I'm going to leave the link to this tutorial in the description box, okay? The front and the back are not the same, but we are going to be using the back to cut out this particular sleeve, okay? As you can see, the front is straight out a little. If you have any problem with your sleeve, go ahead and watch that video. So from the center of the my fold, I'm going to come in by two inches if you have enough fabric to work with you can make use of three inches but remember it's on fold so this two inches now will be four inches when we open it okay so i make sure i have my sleeve length intact i just added half inch and then i'm going to cut it from the down part i'm going to cut it straight up to meet up with my armhole okay straight up as you can see if you're not getting what i'm saying i hope you're seeing it very clear okay and i'm going to cut out the armhole nicely just like this okay so this is what we have okay and we have our two sleeves together okay so next i'm going to get one of the sleeves I'm going to place it, make sure they are placed right side facing. Make sure you fold it right side facing. So the, the, the wrong side is outside, okay? I'll go ahead and stitch it with my sewing allowance. So I've done one of the sleeve. We are going to do the second one together, okay? So I will get um, my armhole, okay? Remember, we added two inches on fold. So when you open it now, it's four inches. So you make a gather stitch. At the armhole area just the upper part and then get one of the trans and then just pull it just like this to create your gathers so you are just going to gather that four inches so gather it up to meet up with your round um, armhole measurement from your dress okay so I've taken the round armhole of my dress I'm just trying to um, make sure I have the same measurement here okay so I have less so I'm just going to open my gathers a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so I've gotten what I want. So at the hemming part of the sleeve, 
you make sure you hem your sleeve but make sure you fold it in such a way that your elastic will pass through it okay so you take your, your round rix measurement and cut your elastic then you pass your elastic using your pin or your needle pass it through the the hem okay just like this and then you can just um stop stitch stop stitch it down so it doesn't move okay go ahead and stop stitch it down so i've done that guys as you can see we have our elastic nicely the next thing we are going to do is we are going to attach this to our dress okay make sure you get the center the center part of your armhole okay you place it right side facing i'm going to place it right side facing make sure you get the center right side facing and then i'll pin it down you can actually stitch your sleeve your sleeve allowance before attaching it to your dress and you can attach it to your dress first before you stitch it you stitch the allowance whichever one i do works for me okay so i'm going to pin it down right side facing pin it down nicely okay as you can see i've pinned it down and you see my allowance i have my allowance i will do the same thing to the other side so after pinning it down i have my allowance as you can see so i'll stitch it down first before i stitch down my allowance so after stitching it down as you can see this is what we have at the right side as you can see okay this is what we have i'm going to open my zipper and then turn it to the wrong side okay i'll turn the sleeve to the wrong side just so i will stitch my allowance okay so this is my sleeve allowance i'm going to stitch it down straight up to the hem of the sleeve okay so i'll go ahead and stitch it down okay after stitching it down guys this is what we have go ahead and give it a very good press okay so guys this is our beautiful dress this is how it came out as you can see so cute okay guys thank you all for watching to this very point if you haven't subscribed please do well and subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video okay i love you all and i will see you all in my next video god bless you bye